another topic that I wanted to discuss tonight was the topic on our educational system. Like I stated earlier, I work in the, for the Department of Education. I'm in various schools. And one thing I always notice, well, you know, I'm not going to say always notice because you do have your exceptions. And there are some exceptions because there are some schools with some, with some positive black kids that that uh, that have respect and are interested in learning and getting an education, but unfortunately, for the most part, all the schools that I visit, a lot of our kids are uninterested in educating themselves. A lot of them are very disrespectful towards the uh, the teachers and the faculty at the school, and it's like a growing epidemic that is it's getting out of hand and it's like. To be honest, it's disgusting. You know, a lot of us, I say in my, in my age range, you know, your early 30s, probably haven't been in a junior high school or elementary school. If you don't have kids in the last, you know, 15 to 20 years, probably since the last time you've been here. Because before I started working in the educational system, I hadn't been back to an elementary school in about 15, 20 years. But, like I said, a lot of disgusting that's going on in the school. These kids, especially the, the girls. I mean, when you see a when you see a boy in the school doing certain things, it looks one way. But when you got the females acting just as disgusting and rude and disrespectful, even more sometimes than the boys. When you see that, it's it's total disgust. Like I said, I'm gonna be upfront and honest. This is coming from somebody who's in it, so believe it. But the bottom line is, it has to come from home. If I see a kid in school acting a certain way, disrespectful towards me, a black man, I may add, I don't remember having a black man ever in the classroom with myself growing up. But with that being said, the first thing I look at is when I see a kid acting disrespectful or crazy or just refuses to learn is, what's going on at home? What's going on with these parents? That has to be a reason why this kid is acting like this. Because if there was good parenting and governing at home, this kid wouldn't come to school and act in such a disgustful manner. So with that being said, I pose the question to you parents out there. Anyone that has kids out there that's watching this needs to pay attention and listen up closely. What's going on in the homes that our kids are coming out in the environment and acting in this crazy manner? School, we're supposed to be educational system and the reason I'm serious and talking about this is because first of all these white Anglo-Saxon Protestants out here that's running the world for those of us that are conscious and know what's really going on around here they're putting so much money less in education if you don't really pay attention and really try to get it you're gonna lose it because it's not that money being it's not that much money being pumped into the system and there's not a lot of resources for the inner city youth Now, with that being said, to sum it all up, we as a people, we're losing this battle. So the question is, what are we going to do? Because I'm, like, I'm sure most of us know that a lot of money that they're not putting in this educational system is going where? It's going to the jail system. And, they, and they're easily making money. Why? Because more of our people are going to jail. They wouldn't be putting more of this money into the jail system. If we weren't pumping the jails, because it's not a profit. Because you have certain people of a certain race and creed that think totally different from us. We can't fathom the evil thoughts that they're thinking up. They're all about money and business and profit so they can keep running the world. And eradicate us eventually. Erase us for those of us. Don't know. So what are we going to do? Because right now we're losing, we're falling right into their trap and their plan. <sighs> I think that's enough for tonight. But before I go, I'm going to leave you with the, uh, a famous verb by uh, J.O. Fellow. And he once said, I can give it to you, but it's up to you. What are you going to do with it?